Okay, so today is a big day for me and for this truck. Uh, there's something I've been planning to do with this build. Um, and I'm kind of to the point where I need to start laying the groundwork for it and getting it actually set up. So might as well bring you guys in on it. This is going to make it very unique. Um, I believe it's probably going to be the only one in the world. Um, if I'm wrong, um, please send pictures so I can see how they did it. Uh, <laughs> but this is going to be right hand drive and column shifted. And I don't believe they ever made a truck that was both. Um, any examples I've seen of a right hand truck uh, had the floor shifter. So, yeah, this is going to be a one of a kind and it's going to be very challenging. I'll show you what I'm going to be working with. Um, I've probably bit off more than I can chew here. I want to keep the calm shift because I think that would be, that's also a fun little interesting thing that makes it different, you know, and I want to keep that. So that's probably going to be my biggest challenge is getting the shift linkage to work because check this out the shifter normally so you got your uh, steering column will come down here and the shift linkage will go from right here at the end of the steering column back to these little guys and these, and that one right there is what shifts gears. And those are on the left side. But if I have all my components coming out this side, and they're gonna be bolted right here to the frame, how am I getting my shift linkage from here down to there? That's gonna be the challenge maintaining a column shift because you can buy a, a floor shift kit and I could do that um, but I don't want to and I believe I have an idea and so I'm just gonna go with that idea This angle is so extreme because it's butted all the way up against this and it's coming out the window. So I might have to move that forward and make a new hole. All right, I'm going to temporarily put a bolt in here, a nut and bolt to kind of make sure this is in the right space going this way. Try to figure out where I need to place this part to get the right angle. Where it would go.
I got a good angle. It's not going through the window. Um, so, yeah, this steering box is in the right general area. I just have to reverse it, see where this hole's going to be. The steering box goes that far forward. Get away from my car. I don't need you making a house in my engine bay. All right, I think I know where to cut. See you. What is she trying to do? I think she's just drinking some water out of her bowl. You know it's gross rainwater. It's got pollen and leaves in it. Yeah, she'll be fine. She's got a tough tummy. But we can give her some better water if you want. Dump that out and get the hose out. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Huh? Oh, I got the Discovery Channel here. These wild animals fighting. So now they know we have dogs. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I like being on Coco. Me too. They're good doggies. Ow! Keep hitting my head on this. I've hit my head so many times on this that it's shiny from my head scraping the dirt and rust off of it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what gives up. Smash my head. That's good. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Pedals on there. against here but I think that's because this isn't all the way in. And you make two cuts. Everything clears each other. This doesn't hit this. This doesn't hit it either. This, I believe, will clear this piece just barely. Well, I'm going to clear the steering box. But if I move this one up, then this one hits the brake. Or the clutch pedal, I mean. I'm going to have to do some thinking on this. Come back to it. Tumbleweed Garage.